Welcome to the second part of your reading. Um, I wanted to take a quick minute to apologize in advance for the harshness of the reading. The readings. So I realized I did the first part and the second part, and I posted the first part. And if you're seeing this, you're about to watch the second part portion. And it's called The Harsh Truth. And the feedback that I'm getting, and again, I take everybody's feedback, you know, maybe a little bit too serious, right? But I realize that I'm coming across yelling and I'm coming across, you know, in a negative demeanor. Not maybe necessarily negative, but I just want you to know that I'm just so passionate about the cards. And I like when I do the cards, I'm very extroverted. And in person, I'm not. I'm, that's not me. I'm not that type of person. But the, the readings are a little harsh. And, you know, the messages that come out are just, I'm just so passionate about it that I want you to get the idea and the topic that I'm talking about and so my intention is very strong it's very it's it, it's in a positive demeanor you know I don't mean there's no pun intended like I'm not trying to yell at you and the topics you know typically you go to readers and you go to and you find videos of, of affirmation and inspiration for a sense of hope for someone to not yell at you because you already know that you're like in a weird spot and you're looking for someone to be passionate and compassionate with you and and that, that is honestly my intention. You know, it's not meant to be like I'm yelling at you. I just, at the same time, like I just, I want to drill it in you because I don't like, I don't have a bad bone in my body and I don't like seeing people go through things that they don't need to go through or they're going through it again and again. And it's just, I'm a big believer of like physical, physical change and, and you have to learn a fucking hard lesson. But at the same time, I don't want you to learn the lesson the hard way. Or, or, or take the feedback in a negative way, or I want you to take the message as it resonates. But again, it, it, it's, it's, it's gonna be a little harsh in the sense of how I'm delivering the message. And, you know, Scorpio, Libra, and, and I forgot the other sign. They are, they're gonna get a different version of it. Uh, but you're gonna, I'm posting number two, part two, here for you to see, um, and, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments, please. And if you'd like to donate to our cause, everything that you that I get back, I put into the production of, of this cards cost money, lights cost money. I put a lot of time into these things. So you'll find the link is in my bio. You'll also see my my WhatsApp, my Snapchat, I'm sorry, my Cash App, my Venmo, maybe PayPal. But um, if you want to donate whatever you'd like, feel free to. Um, you know, I know I talked about the OnlyFans aspect. That's going to be more of a membership style. Uh, that's going to that's that's going to come at the end of March. I'm going to start doing sexual tarot with a romance angels and the mystic male tarot deck, and we're going to talk about love. You know, the, the lowest vibration of love, which is physical sex, and the difference between you know physically in love with somebody and lust, and you know, and the, the traumas that that can cause, now, especially you know men sleeping with men. That's two alpha males. That's two you know, male energies there that, that have a deep desire for being needed and wanting to be needed. You know, it, it's, a, it's a different aspect, but also from my heterosexual couples, just it's sex in general. Um, that's going to only be an OnlyFans. So that's what I'm going to transition OnlyFans to. Here you're going to get, you know, the whole, the whole reading, the whole reading, the whole reading and nothing but the truth. And feel free to donate. If it resonates with you, a like, a share, and a subscribe goes a long way. A repost on Instagram goes a long fucking way. Um, you know, let me know that you saw it. Hey, it was great. Saw it. Awesome. Great job. You don't have to feedback on it. I understand that aspect. Again, prepare yourself for the harsh truth reading part two. Um, let's take a breath now. And the other readings, I did a breath beforehand, but let's take a breath now, right? So inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Into the nose, out through the mouth. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Okay, second part of Gemini. This is Gemini's second part. If you're an OnlyFans, here it is. So we spoke about the eighth house and politics, taking the mask off, something that needs to end in order for something to begin. What? Let's go into the cards here. Let's see what we have. 
Ace of Wands and the Sun. Creativity, but this is new forms of creativity. This is, there's a lot of amateur-like beginning phase. I don't want to say amateur. I don't want to call you an amateur because you might be like, you know, deep into your spiritual journey. But something creative, something new. There's a new desire. I also relate this card to sexual desires. I'll eventually be doing sexual tarot too. Uh, something I want to get into, like sex therapy. Um, we'll get into that. Only on OnlyFans. Ace of Wands and the Sun. There's something here that you might have recently found or you realize that, that you're more creative in that sense. Um, and, or there's a desire here that makes you happy. There's happiness here. Something that you desire is, is making you, it's going to make you happy or is making you happy. And there's, a, there's gonna be, there's a sense of celebration here. What are you celebrating? What sexual desire, what new spark, what new creativity, what new outlet do you have here that, that brings you joy? Continue with that, pursue that. You might have already found it. This, you might already be at that level. If not, then you need to find this before we get to all of this, right? Card one and at the end, choices, options. Again, I can read this. This way, I'm reading it this way, and then this way, I can read it this way, I can read two and two. There's multiple messages, so take what resonates. Ace of Wands, there's something, there's something that sparks your interest. Something, someone, could be a partnership, Definitely could be a partnership. Oh, look, if I'm reading it this way, there is definitely someone here that's new, that's coming in, that, that sparks your interest, that you desire. They desire you because this is a mutual. This card, the lover's card is your card in tarot, but it's also in tarot, and it's also symbolizing that there is someone there that wants, that, that is open to, that is reciprocating to what you want. They're, they're, they're throwing back the same energy that you are. It's a soulmate card. It could be a twin flame card. There is that aspect there that makes you happy. There is a sense of celebration. You know, celebrate this creativity. Celebrate this new person. Celebrate this new creative outlet. Celebrate it because you will be celebrating it, but it makes you happy. So you'll know exactly how that resonates. You might have had to let things go with the five of coins. There might have been a loss. You might have had a loss recently in your life. Maybe you lost a friend or someone that was part of your circle. Maybe you lost a cat. That's because I know a Gemini that lost a cat. There was a loss here, but it woke you up, the Queen of Wands. It made you alert. Now you know. You realize life is short. You realize, you know, whether you lost someone from your circle, you lost some something, someone, you've lost a job. This could be very well job loss, or you lost stability, you lost structure, but you realize that this, this creative desire makes you happy, and you might have actually lost that happiness. Maybe that, that was what you found and then you realize you lost it, but now you know. Maybe you went through something there that you know and now you lost it and you're like, you know what, I know what the fuck I want. The Queen of Swords knows what she wants. She knows something. She knows something she's not telling anybody. Keep your love life private. Oh, right here, right? This is the lovers. Keep your love life private. You know something about someone. You know something about a lover. This new lover, you knew that they were coming in. Maybe your intuition's on point. Oof. If we're going to talk about this person here, this person could be younger than you. They could very well be younger than you. You could have two, uh, two poo people coming into you. One is more creative. One is more of desire. One could be more of a sexual aspect. The other one could be more emotional. But they also could be, I would just say here, question, or it's just, it's just new. It's just, there's definitely new love here. There is 100% new love here. Like, like this way and this way. Like, not even, and like, yes, definitely. New love is here. Multiple options. Could be two people. One, again, one's more on a creative desire or sexual aspect. The other one could be more on an emotional but just make sure you check check their references. Do their, do their background check, but don't be a stalker, Gemini. Don't be a stalker here, but check to see if they're emotionally stable because you really don't have time to play with emotional stability right now, with your emotional stability. You need to make sure that you are emotionally stable first. But you know something here. A wish, a hope. This person could be a wish come true. This person could, could change your life and give you options. This person could be here to transform your life. Seven of Cups is, is options, choices. 
There could be one great choice out of all of these choices, but there's someone here you were hoping you were wishing for. You have hope. If you don't have hope, you need to find hope. You need to just be patient that things will come their way. You know, be balanced with the cups. Like just have balance and just just wait. Patience is, is the key to everything. You could be dealing with another Gemini. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here. But these options or this person that's coming into your life or or this aspect of you finding this new creative outlet to this new this new ask new thought processes on relationships where now your mask is off right i'm gonna go back to this your mask is hopefully off right you took the mask off and this is where we're at now that was the first part of the meeting if you're not at that point then then this isn't the rest isn't for you but if you want to see a little prediction then maybe you can con continue watching here Endings and beginnings. I'm this 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 is this card. Okay. And, oh my God! Did you see that underneath that? Now let's go into double extended. The death transformation. Something must end before it can begin. But it's gonna this whatever you're wherever whoever these people are. This is I don't do love readings, but this is uh, this is fucking awesome here. You have ten of cups. Ultimate abundance, joy, family. Remember this creative outlet, whatever keeps you happy, you need to celebrate that. And there might be a loss, but now you know. You're at a, this has to be, you're at, if, you're, if you're watching this, you're at a point where you already know. You already know where we're at, right? You already know where you're at. The Empress energy, the Empress does not run around. The Empress does not move. She sits pretty on her pedestal. She is luxurious. She is beautiful. She is glamour. She sits there pretty and people come to her. The queens run around. The queens do work. They have work to do still. Once these choices and these options and this wish come true, this hope or this, this sense of maybe you're going to be in the media or your popularity might increase here. Um, yeah, you, you, you're, you could be famous. You might meet somebody that's actually famous in this sense, but it's going to put you on a pedestal. Once the happiness comes in like, and you realize that you've transformed because you took the mask off, abundance is there waiting for you. It's literally waiting for you. Ten of Cups with the Empress. Eight of Cups. And how did you get there? You had to leave things behind. Things that might have made you happy. Things that might have, or a person that might have made you happy. It's just not in line with your path. So you're going to go wander that path because, because your emotions, the moon's there. The moon is telling you that, that there's something different. There's something more that you're craving for. There's something more that you're learning, that you're, that you're yearning for. There is, you want more stability. King of Pentacles, you want something more solid. You want someone that is solid. Maybe this person, you might love this person, but they're, they're just not as solid as you want them to be. They, they, you can be, you could have been in a very toxic relationship. It could have been a codependent relationship that you needed to leave. There could have been sneaky shit going on. And that was not part of your process. That was not part of your st stability or your new process or your new, now you took the mask off and you're a whole different person. Your, your other twin is coming out. I like to say now that I have one twin that has, that has died. Um, he still lingers. He kind of comes in and fucks shit up. Uh, his name is Abel. He, he, but I, 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 I no longer resonate with him. I don't have space in my life for him. So people that have met me five years ago are not going to meet the new person that they meet now because I have taken a mask off. I went on this very dark, very dark journey, dark journey to find myself that dark, toxic addictions, codependency on things, people, places. I'm dependent on my mom because I live in her place and I can't live anywhere else because I can't afford to. That's dependency. I, I, can't, I have to stay with this person because they're providing for me. That is a dependent. You are, de you are depending on someone else's assets or physical physical aspects in order for you to survive because you're still they're still thinking that they're in love with someone that wearing that, that has this mask on, but you took the mask off and now you're realizing it doesn't even work out anymore. Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. You're crystal clear and you're sharp about something here. Once this codependency comes down, you realize that stability is what you want and you're leaving this whatever you're dependent on. Maybe it's you're just comfortable. Like, oh, I'm comfortable. I've been here for five years and I don't want to go anywhere else. You're not going to grow in this sense of comfortability. You're not going to, there's no growth being comfortable in one place. Like, and I know people, you know, it's crazy because New York's all about like, oh, we want you to be in one job for so many years. I'm sorry, but that is fucking bullshit. And that only works in that fucking city. Because you're going to be miserable for those 
five of those 10 years because you're going to feel stuck because now you've either escalated to the point where you're making so much money that you can't go anywhere else but New York City. There's no other option for you because you're going to have to take a demotion down or you're not going to get the same pay. Again, that's being dependent on your salary. Now I, I changed my lifestyle to fix the salary that I'm in and I never want to go back down. I understand that. That's a lifestyle, right? That's a lifestyle change. But when you're going through transformation, sometimes you got to let things go because money does not buy happiness. Money does not buy happiness. It's just a, a physical aspect that's going to enhance a lifestyle that's not necessarily in line with what's who you are. Like I just said, famous people are miserable. They have all the money in the world, but they're miserable on the inside. That's why they end up doing music you know, later on in life on their own, their own lyrics, their own music, their own beats, because they don't want somebody controlling their life. But once you realize and you know what you want, th th this is a sense of in and out energy. But like, there's going to be quick movement coming out in here. Like, this is knowing, this is knowing, this is something sharp, it's clear, it's in your mind, it hit, you know what you want, and then luck, luck is on your side. The wheel of fortune. Luck will be on your side. Luck is on your side. Luck will be on your side once you know what you want to do. Once you know what direction you want to go into. Once you know, once you've pulled back and you've rested and you've known exactly what, what you want because you've done all the work and you pulled back and worked on yourself and you planted all the seeds that you possibly wanted in, in life so now you can watch them grow so that you can chillax and relax and pull back and you have money in your bank account because you worked those 10 years in New York City and you banked all that money because you were smart and you didn't live in Manhattan and paid $3,500 for an apartment but you lived in Queens and you commuted for those 10 years and now you're coming back to where your family lives and now you're buying a house then now you're emotionally stable there's offers that are coming towards you partnership is there there was difficult to sort decisions you had to make in life that probably brought chaotic aspects and chaotic times to your life and like misery, but it's all karmatic lessons. We're here to learn lessons. Karma comes, karma's not always there to just come and fuck you up. It's not there intended to do it on purpose. Just need to just fuck him up for a little bit. There's a lesson to be learned. Did you learn that lesson? Did you reach a higher power? Did you find the will? Did you find the willpower to, to put that hard work and the efforts in and now you can give back to your community and you put plans in place and let go of the shit that you needed to let go because you are smart and wise and now it's a logical choice for me to leave because I want to be the motherfucking emperor. And the empress is at the bottom of this. I want to be, I want to be, this right here is a perfect pair. If I was doing this in the sense of time, that would take a long time. You wouldn't meet this empress for a while, but you, they're both here in this reading. This is a perfect pair. This is perfect because you, you've done the work. You've done the work. You let go of the shit. You put the work in place. And now you're at a level where you're sitting pretty looking cute like a motherfucking princess or the motherfucking emperor. And it was hard on your mental health. It was hard. It was motherfucking hard and it is hard. It's hard to take this mask off. It is hard, but now the world is in your hands and opportunity is, is, is in reach. It's literally in your hands. Like, what would you like? Let me know what you would like. Now you can manifest whatever the fuck you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question and we're gonna ask the angels. It doesn't necessarily have to be about this reading here. Uh, it could be something, something completely different, whatever you'd like. I'll give you a couple seconds to ask that question, and we're going to pull one card and allow it to resonate how it resonates. This card is calling to me. Reconsider. Oof, there's your answer. Reconsider. Let's pull an animal spirit here. What advice do you have for Gemini? I can't shuffle this. Man, I hurt my hands. Rollerblading. This card. Time to heal. Ooh, you got some healing to do. 55. Broken down. 5 plus 5 is 10. Transformation. You're going to bring transformation here and here again. Transformations card number is 10. Death card is number 10. Transformation is the number 10 is a, is a form of transformation. Time to heal. Snake, snake. Spirit's fucking talking to you. Are you tricking yourself? A snake like the Slytherins. Are you manipulating yourself? Are you lying to yourself about what you really want? Do you think it's somebody else that you need to heal from, but it's really yourself that you need to heal from? I'm going to pull a crystal healing card. This is from one of the first readers I ever got a reading from. Her name was Janet Weinberg. She created these cards. They are crystals, so you can look up the crystal and you should carry it with you. I used to carry crystals with me all the time. You know, even if I, even when I was like going through my transition and I was doing things I knew I shouldn't do, I still carried it because 
deep down inside, I knew that I had a bigger purpose and a life path, but I might have been just tricking myself and doing things I shouldn't be doing or, or going on those adventures that I shouldn't have been going on, but that rock was always, that crystal was in my pocket and I felt protected. It was a physical aspect of knowing that I'm still on my path. Whether I wasn't physically doing it, at least I, I had something in the back of my mind saying, you're still doing, you're, eventually you'll hit your path. Just by carrying this stone, you'll eventually hit your path because you're putting in effort. You're putting in the work. So what healing crystal does Gemini need to have? Lapis, inner vision royalty. I actually have lapis here that I got from Sedona. I also used this as an ashtray. It used to be a necklace. Get real stones. Don't give them off, off Amazon. This is what an Amazon rock looks like. It's like painted. Lapis. It also helps with skin. Uh, that's why I bought this one because it was a necklace. It also helps with skin, but this is inner, vo inner vision. What is your inner vision? Sense of royalty, empress, royalty, emperor, royalty. I hope this message resonates with you, Gemini. I will see you next time.